Hello everyone, Caroline here. In today's video, I want to share eight cards that I created with this paper craft set from Action. Now, this set was sent to me by my sister and she sent it to me from Germany. She uh, went there to the store Action and uh, she sent me a bunch of stuff and this is one of the things she sent me. So, um, this set has um, paper and it has those little um, feathers and it has a ribbon piece of ribbon a white ribbon that's about a yard and then we have uh, two sheets of stickers and I will not use those stickers in my cards I actually put those stickers into my planner now it has double-sided paper here and this paper is um, A5 size and it has backgrounds and it has patterns on them and everything is very summery themed with the colors and uh, uh, designs. I love those crunchy backgrounds like this one. And I also love, love this pattern here with the popsicles and it has some strawberries on that one. Then this set has a sheet with tags and it also has a couple of sheets with uh, die cuts. And all the die cuts are pretty summery themed as well. We have some plants, we have a donut, but all the colors and and the whole theme is very summery looking. So I thought that's the perfect set, uh, perfect set for uh, this time of the year. Now this one has little lemons and it has also some very cute uh, backgrounds. This is the size, I think this is A4 size, yeah. I love these flamingos here. They're so pretty. So, and here is again a whole overview of everything. Let's get started. For card number one, I chose two papers. And I also have a card base for my stash, which is five and a half by five and a half. And then I choose a square uh, die from an Anna Griffin die set that I have in my stash. And I cut out this pink uh, paper with the sequins. Then I'm choosing um, this flowery um, or flourish oval from uh, the Tonic Craft Kit um, that I have. And uh, I cut one of the background papers. And then I'm using the, the smaller piece that goes into the other die or matches the other die and cut out the flamingos. And then with the leftover pieces I'm creating another background that I will layer behind the pink one. And I'm just taping this onto my card base here. Then I chose a couple of um, die stress inks from my stash. I chose a mint color and here actually I'm using the distress in tumbled glass and I use a very soft pink color and kind of more Caribbean um, turquoise color. So and I'm just distressing, uh, distressing the edge of this background. And then I'm just attaching it to my card base. Then 
Then I'm using this light pink, which is called Princess, and it's almost like the uh, tattered rose from the Distress Inks. And I'm taping that and putting it on top. Layer this on top. Now I'm cutting out a frame out of vellum paper here. And I want to put that vellum paper on top of the, um, the other frame that I cut out. And I'm using a little bit of gold stickles and I'm just touching this with my finger onto the vellum. I just want it to have a little bit more sparkle. And then I'm attaching it with liquid glue to this outer frame that I created, that I cut out. And this will look very pretty with a little bit of sparkle. Then I'm measuring just by eyeball it where I have to cut off that oval so it matches my card. And then I'm attaching or we'll do the same with the flamingo. And I'm attaching this piece with some foam tape to lift it off. And I'm just cutting off the rest leftover piece there. Then I decided to add a little bit more color around those flamingos. And I used just a little finger dabber and add some um, mint color. Then I add <coughs> Also some distress, uh, distress inks to a little strip of a uh, leftover piece there. And then I'm attaching my flamingos and I'm adding on the side a little piece of foam tape on both sides and also below that. So I want this to be all even up. And then I'm attaching this piece and I want this almost to look like water on the bottom. And I'm attaching this to the top. I also added the two pineapples that came from the die set and a little um, cacti. Then I'm using from those die cuts this little speech bubble that says I love you and I'm adding that to the top part. And then for embellishing this I'm using Nuvo drops and I am also using gold stickles. And I'm also using my uh, Gold Coast um, Nuvo Drops and I'm just I randomly add some Nuvo Drops. And then I'm using my Nuvo Glaze and I'm just adding that to the speech bubble to make it more dimensional. And I'm also adding that to the beaks. And here's the finished card. Okay, card number two. So for card number two, I'm using a regular A2 card base and I'm also using um, one tag and I cut out all those little coffee mugs from one of the pattern papers and I'm also using a little uh, sentiment that I'm gonna glue onto a piece of a silver uh, scrap paper. And then I'm pulling out my uh, micas and I'm just adding some color to those coffee mugs. I'm choosing like a pink and a blue. <clears throat> and I'm just using my fingers to rub that in. And then I'm adding also some gold to the lids of the cups. And I'm adding some extra color also to the tag. Then I'm gonna use my uh, tool here and I rough up the edges of the tag. 
and then I'm cutting my piece of pattern paper to size and I am using I make it a little bit skinnier than the card is and I'm using a die that I also got from my sister which is an edge die um, like a wavy edge die um, and this uh, die is also from the store action now I'm cutting on the top and the, the bottom with this die and then I'm distressing the edge with pink and then I'm using my leftover pieces and I'm actually mirror this and glue the blue piece on top in the middle and the other one to the bottom and then I'm using my tag and I'm adding a little white ribbon a piece of the white ribbon and I'm adding this die cut piece with a piece of foam tape and I'm gluing this um, I use the foam tape also for my little sentiment here that says call me and then I'm using a bigger piece for my coffee mug here and I will attach this then to the top right over that other coffee mug to give it a little bit more dimension then I'm sticking this on with some foam tape and then I'm using my liquid glue and I'm adding those little coffee mugs all around my tag here and then I'm using those little two stars and I'm adding them as well now for embellishment I'm using my pink Nuvo drops here that's actually the pink glitter drops and I'm adding some randomly dots and I'm also using a little bit of stickles and I add this as an embellishment to the little marks that have the dots and then I'm using my Nuvo glaze and I'm adding this to that big coffee mug and to the lids of the small ones just to give it a little bit more texture and here is the finished card okay card number three so for this card I'm using this piece of pattern paper or design paper and I am using a square card so I measure this quickly with my card and cut it to size and then I'm adding for a little bit more grungy texture uh, some white splatters and I'm using my distress stain here in white and I'm also using my uh, watercolors here the gold one and add some more splatters to it all over it so while this was drying I used this dress my craft uh, dies that I have on the stash um, these are flowers and I cut a bunch of flowers out of those um, papers that you see here and I'm adding I added some in actually in rose gold then I'm using my tool here and I'm giving these flowers, these flowers uh, some shape. And then I'm gluing them together just with liquid glue and I'm just use the um, different sizes and put them on top of each other. And once I have them all glued on, I'm using my tag here and I just cut off the top part and I am actually gluing this on a piece of matte mirror um, cardstock and then I am using my vintage photo and I'm adding this vintage photo uh, around the edge And 
and I also rough up the edge with my tool here. Then I'm adding my background to my card with just some liquid glue. And then I'm laying out the flowers um, how I want them and I'm having those craft glue dots and I'm adding those glue dots to the back of the flowers. So these glue, glue dots are pretty big so they're giving them also a little bit more uh, dimension when they stick up. And then I'm just um, arranging them and I'm making this kind of more diagonal. I wanted to keep that uh, lock still visible and I just added them to the top right and then to the bottom left. And then I'm using some foam tape and I'm adding my Pip Hooray sentiment on the bottom right. For embellishing um, this card I'm using my stickles and I'm adding like three drops to each uh, flower in the middle and for the other ones, for the rose gold ones, I'm going to use white and then randomly add some diamond sticker drops around this card. And here's the finished card. Card number four. So for card number four, I used an A2 size card base and I cut two pieces to size. One is the one that has the ice cones and one has just a blue background. And then I used this ribbon and I created a little bow and I'm using two the little feathers here. And I also used some of the, I had a few flowers left from the last card and I just thought I'm putting this with this card. Now I'm roughing up the edge of that one piece and I'm adding it to my card. And then I'm just ripping this other piece to size. I want to get a really distressed look for this and I'm just ripping some edges into it. And then I'm adding some mint color to the edge. And I'm roughing up the edge here a little bit more. And then I'm just adding this with liquid glue. Um, I have this little uh, die cut which says a little something for you. looks like a little tag and I'm using this cone with the flowers I'm adding this on top and then I'm adding my tag right underneath um, this cone so it looks like it's sticking out from there I'm adding some the feathers there and on top I am adding my flowers And then I'm using this ribbon, the bow that I did, and I'm adding it to the top of the card. And I'm using a little 3D glue here to add it to my card base or to my background. I'm cutting the bow to size. And then I'm adding some uh, nouveau glaze to my tag to let it uh, 
so it raises up a little bit so it looks a little bit more dimensional and then I'm adding my Nuvo drops to the flowers and here I'm using some dream drops um, these are like iridescent color to the background and here is my finished card okay card five So for this card, it's again an A2 card. I used to pa this paper with a cacti on the bottom and then I used the leftover piece from the last card and I chose this die cut which says Hacks and Kisses and I'm adding this to a piece of a rose or a copper mirror card uh, cardstock that I have in my stash and I'm cutting those two sentiments out. And then I'm using my scissor and I am cutting this paper to shape. I want this to be almost like an L shape on top of this blue um, piece of paper. So I'm using my little scissor to cut carefully around the cacti there. And then I am actually cutting this other piece off. And then I'm cutting, fussy cutting this little uh, cacti out there. Then I am ripping this a little bit. I want this to be a little bit more distressed looking. And I'm adding my background here, blue background. And then I'm adding my frame or half frame um, to the other side. And I'm distressing this with light pink. Oh, and I also um, add some gold to the blue background here, gold splatters, to give it a little sparkle and also some white splatters. And then I'm adding some foam tape to my other piece here and I am at this to my card and this almost has kind of a shadow box effect now I'm adding my sentiment to the top this hugs and kisses And then I'm adding this XOXO to the bottom and my adding my uh, little, um, I think it's an alpaca on the bike right there in the middle uh, on top. Now for final touch I am using some stickles and also some Nuvo drops and I'm adding this little gold stickles um, to the cacti and some Nuvo glaze to the wheels. And here's the finished card. card number six. Now for this card I am choosing two papers, two background papers and I also got this die from my sister. Um, it's from the same store action and these are frames and I'm using the bigger ones. They are three size and I'm using the bigger ones and the smallest ones to cut out uh, the paper. Um, and I will create my own card. It's going to be a very little card. And I'm scoring this and uh, actually fold this and then burnish this with my, my tool here. And then I am adding the smaller piece on top of the bigger one. And there's my card base. Then I'm using this big donut and this other flowery um, Thing. 
with the donuts. It has flowers and donuts on it and I'm cutting off the smaller donut on the bottom and I'm actually adding it to the top because I want when I look or when I add a donut I want this hole to be empty so you can see the background. And then I'm adding this together. I'm gluing this together and then I'm adding uh, foam tape to it so it lifts up from that card. I'm adding this. And then I'm using the die cut that said this has the sentiment don't do not worry and be happy and I'm adding them up on a piece of white card uh, stock here and I'm just attaching them together and add them with a little bit of foam tape to my on top of my donut. Then I'm using my uh, nouveau glaze and I'm actually giving the donuts uh, a glaze and I'm adding some stickers for some sparkle to the flowers and also to my big donut here. And here's my finished card. Card 7. So for this card I chose this pattern paper that has the popsicles on it and I fussy cut a bunch of uh, popsicle out of the top of the paper and then I have these two sentiments um, it's your birthday and then the three letters so yay um, and then I'm adding some distress and ink and also rough up the edge And then I'm adding some metallic um, watercolor. This watercolor is actually also from Action. Um, and it's really, really good. I'm really amazed um, how sparkly or shiny this metallic watercolor is. It's really high pigmented. Then I'm adding my three letters yay here to a piece of copper mirror card and I'm cutting this out and I'm also adding this other sentiment uh, to another piece so it has more stability and then I am adding this one piece with a lollipop I cut it in half uh, I cut it to size and I'm adding it to the bottom of my background here and I'm adding a little uh, piece of that purpley color just for my contrast and I'm adding this to my background. Then I'm adding it to my card base and I'm adding my yay here and um, then I'm adding this it's your birthday to the bottom right. And then I'm adding little strips of foam tape to all those uh, popsicles. And then I'm adding, I'm actually matching them up on the bottom pattern paper here, the design paper. And then I'm adding a few on the top. Cutting off the leftover or oh, no. there, and I'm adding some nouveau glaze to those popsicles. Then I'm adding also some gold stickers.
and some pink glitter drops. And here's my finished card. Okay, card number eight. So for my last card, I cut a piece of pattern paper to size, just a background, uh, just a background color. And I'm adding pink and also a vintage photo to the edge. And then I'm cutting out, cut out some strips of one of the papers and also cut or use the leftovers that I had and I created some shelves or I'm creating a shelf here and then I'm adding my die cuts I'm using those cacti and I'm just um, add them with some foam tape And just look how that fits and fiddle a little bit and look how I'm attaching those strips so it looks kind of even. And then I'm adding another one. another one until I have all my cacti in place and then I'm adding the sentiment that says happy birthday to the top of one of the cacti and add this to my card base and then I'm using again my dream drops here and add some random drops and also my pink and some gold stickers And here's the finished card. Now here are all the cards again close up. And I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration. If you don't have this craft set, you can maybe get some ideas and just use what you have on stash in your stash and um, well I'm really had fun working with this craft set I'm really happy that my sister sent me uh, the stuff that I cannot get here in the US and I know she loves these videos where she can see what I actually did with those uh, sets from action I also have she sent me a bunch of other stuff and I'm planning uh, more videos with some um, action material so um, stay tuned if you want to see more of this stuff um, yeah so with this said I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope I see you in my next video and stay safe. Bye.